what is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video preview today we're going to take a look at the final pictures of venom and you can pre-order this figure at bigbadtoystore.com i'll put the link down below that's normally where i get all my hot toys figures and other figures as well they double box your figure and it's four dollars shipping so you can't really beat that so let's take a look at this figure I had my eye on this, but I was I was kind of hesitant to pull the trigger. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It, it felt initially, initially, as a big Marvel Legends figure. But the longer I look at it, the more I like it. You know, it, it kind of grew on me, to be quite honest with you. And, and honestly, it turned out to be pretty good. I like it. Now, the final pictures are a bit shinier than what you're seeing here. Obviously, this is Photoshopped. Um, it looks like the texture is a bit shiny. That kind of gives you like that toyish vibe, but I don't really mind. Honestly, I think it looks pretty fantastic to be quite honest with you. Uh, it's something different. It's a little, it's a. It's on a bigger side, not Hulkish size or or maybe in, even Thanos, but it, because of the, so many things going on in his back, uh, all these things that's, you know, he's so busy that it gives you the appearance that he's actually bigger than he is. And plus the body's wide and it's, it's different. I mean, look at this picture right here. That is just beautiful. You know, he, him coming out of the uh, smoke and the shadows. That's just pure beautiful. Um, with the lack of Marvel releases lately. Well, there is a bunch of releases, but no announcements. I think Hot Toys is focusing more on Star Wars. And you guys know I like Marvel with, with the um, with the limited diversity that we're seeing, Shang Chi, I might, I might get that. It's still up in the air, depending on the movie. But I like this Venom. It just looks unique. Like I said, it's it's different. It, we've never had one before. And I know for some people, this might not be the Venom because he doesn't have the logo on the front. But that's not Hot Toys' fault. That's this is just the movie interpretation. And honestly, he still looks the same. At least as far as I can tell from the new Venom movie. So this would still be movie accurate, so to speak. Even though this is from a previous generation. And look at this scene right here. There's so many things going on. I think it looks terrific. I think it does. I can't wait for this. This is actually one of my uh, most awaited pre-orders that I do have. Uh, which I'm going to come up with a list soon. But let me know in the comments. Is this something that you want me to see review I guess quite soon because I can order this online in Hong Kong. I haven't really, you know, <laughs> I it's on my, my pre-order list, but I haven't really pre-ordered this yet because I, again, I was hesitant to pull the trigger. That's kind of like how I approach my pre-orders nowadays. Um, kind of wait till I see this blogger picks and then my, make my decision there because for the most part, uh, I didn't even pre-order this, uh, you know, I, up to now, but I know I, I knew I was going to get it. It's just a matter of when. Um, but, you know, seeing this picks, it, it kind of solidified that that decision. So I am going to, for for the price that it's going for nowadays, you know, when it first when it first got announced, it seems like an overpriced, you know. It, but now with the rate that we're going, I mean, the Mandalorian with the, um, it's almost the same price as this, the Mandalorian Chrome version. And this is a completely unique figure so to speak compared to that so to me this is kind of fair now it's in line with the um, other figures one thing that i um i'm hesitant to pull the trigger if i buy this from hong kong because i normally just get my my stuff at big bad toy store but this is kind of like sold out at big bad toy store because i didn't pre-order it might open up again one thing that i'm a bit scared of when i do that is that so obviously when you do day one you are gonna pay a premium price uh so it's it's around eighty to a hundred dollars more if you want it fast. That is uh, that's EMS. If it's eighty dollars more, it's EMS. So, um, is that it's gonna go down in price? Because historically, Marvel figures just goes down in price right now in Hong Kong. Um, if you if you watch the prices of like Spider Man's Rescue and all those characters, after a couple of months or so, they tend to go down. Like Rescue right now, you can buy below retail from you know. In, in, in Hong Kong so I have a gut feeling that this is going to suffer the same fate not going to lie to you guys that I buy this for like more than $500 which is a steep price to be quite honest with you that that's sort of a premium format price that's that's kind of like going in that category um, and then it goes down to 
I, I can see this being three fifty uh in Hong Kong prices. Um not not too you know, not too far from today. I hope I'm wrong. You know, I hope this sells a lot because this looks like a, a great figure. We don't know the materials. Um, is it the, the same way? Is it like a vinyl, soft plastic? I, I don't even know what this is made out of. But look at that picture right here. That I think it came out fantastic, to be honest with you. And um, I like unique figures like this. At least for now, this is unique. Up until they release something that looks similar with a different accessories and whatnot. But I, I don't think I would need that unless there's a Venom that has the, the symbol on his chest. And... Um, I, I, I want to say that the, the joints could be hidden a little bit better, but there's there's always a um, a give when you do that. So articulation means joints, and without joints, yes, it's visibly better. But you also want to articulate Venom because he's one of the more dynamic figures. You see him walking through walls and and you know all these stuffs. So you want him to be able to do those things, and that wouldn't be completely possible without the use of joints now you know the hands seem seamless there it looks beautiful the elbows of course you're going to have some limited articulation there kind of like hulk though um you know he does have the seamless elbow as well so i i would suggest if you ever pick this up do not leave his elbows bend uh bent over for a long period of time and it looks like rubber ish material to me so you don't want to degrade that over time also, because it looks like a soft rubber, um, what's going to happen to this in a hum if you live in a humid place, for example, like Florida or Philippines or anything like that? Would it would it degrade over time? You know, only time will tell. Um, I would take care of this. You know, I, I don't. Again, I don't know the materials. There's no reviews, official reviews as of yet. We're waiting for you know MRCs. He's always the fastest one. I saw his uh, his story right now. He's he's on a bike. Just pick this up. And um, I asked him, you know, on, on Instagram, he was like, hey, how, how do you like it so far? So, you know, maybe we'll wait for a little bit of there. What is going on with his legs? Why does the, his calf so, look so big and the thighs are smaller? Or the, that looks just weird, but I don't know if that's Photoshopped. But that's, I think that was MCE or CGE who uses, in my opinion, he uses practical, for the most part, practical effects which I do like the CG rock. I like this kind of pictures that he does. You know, not a whole lot of digitized here. Or maybe, it, I don't know. It just feels like his pictures are not too digitized. You know what I mean? Um, so it kind of brings out, and his colors are a bit more muted compared to uh, the other ones. Like, this is kind of wild. But I like it. I, I like all the pictures. I think it looks fantastic. It doesn't have obviously it, it comes with two head sculpts. I I I'm pretty sure. Then you can attach the tongue, and um, it, it I think it just looks great. It looks fantastic, man! I can't wait. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Uh, is this something that you want to see right away, or I, are you guys picking this up first and foremost? Or are you gonna wait for the second movie? I, I don't know if you, I don't know if I can recommend waiting for the second movie because Hot Toys prices just keeps on raising up. I mean, even if they do make one for the second movie, how different would it be though? Like, how different would that that thing be? Because they look the same. Um, and is it worth, especially for the price of this guy? It's four oh five, I believe. Uh, if you buy it here in the states, and you know, I'm, I'm let's just assume that that's the price that you're gonna pay, and you include a tax, shipping. You're looking at around upwards of 450, 460 after all those are, you know, are done. If even if they upgrade this or release another version, is it worth upgrading? You know, spend that much money. And and as you know, once they announce that, the value of this goes down. So you're gonna sell this for a loss, for example, if that ever happens, right? Like, you know, a couple of years down the line. Unless there's a major upgrade or a major feature, I I probably stick with this, you know. So it's it's I think it's a perfect time to get Venom, but at the same time, because of the price and what's going on around the world, you know, COVID is still spiking, and and Marvel is just trending down. It might it might be you know I'm gonna get this, but it might be worth waiting. I don't know. I'm I'm so confused about this one. I I'm leaning towards waiting, but unless you guys want to see this right away, I'm willing to fork out the funds. <laughs> and I guess I I normally don't buy from Hong Kong. I just I'm just against that to be quite honest with you. I just don't want to spend more money than I should. 
But, you know, I do reviews, so it, it kind of helps me a little bit. I don't know if you will. I've never done it, but, you know, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this figure. Once again, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch if you like video games. I mostly play every night, so go ahead and give me a follow. All the links are down below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.